torture by another name. For years after the launch of the Iraq War, the U.S. engaged in and expressly supported torture. Their officers tortured captives in the infamous Abu Ghraib prison in Iraq, in various secret prisons known as CIA black sites, and it used rendition to send people to places like Egypt or Syria, where experienced torturers awaited them. All of these acts are crimes under international law, such as the CAT, Convention Against Torture, a treaty to which the U.S. is a signatory and thus bound by its terms. But Americans, especially since 9-11, have resorted to some pretty shocking lawyering to try to get away with torture. For one thing, they don't call torture torture. They say enhanced interrogation techniques. Some apologists even minimize torture until it sounds like horseplay, you know, guys being guys. And then you hear about the lawyer named practice of rectal feeding. I kid you not rectal feeding. Think of that, and you'll see a kind of madness at work, and how power and immunity is addictive. But lawyers can make up new, intriguing terms. The problem is, the CAT treaty is pretty clear, and physical and mental mistreatment legally constitutes torture. Men chained to the floor, nearly naked, and frozen to death, that's torture. The CIA knows this, as did the highest levels of the U.S. government. That's why they changed the names. And I'll bet you it'll be a cold day in hell before we see former White House personnel tour Europe. They know better. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. Black Sun in the Hizzle. Oh, oh, oh. Picasso, don't make me gavel you already. <laughs> we are live on the air. Me, oh, Africa must be free. Africa must be free. <laughs> all your Black Sun in the Hizzle, all for shizzle deal. Are you recording back there? We got an excellent show here today, but first I want to say the views and opinions and that of Comcast and not express its staff, its associate or affiliates. With that being said, viewer discretion is advised. Today's topic, enhanced interrogation, or as the rest of us folks would like to call, torture. But before I get started, I want to introduce guests to my right, starting to my right, introduce yourself. My name is Mukasa, Mukasa Dada, formerly with the Ricks of SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, now Mukasa Dada, and I belong to the African Revolution. Thank you. All right, to his right. My name is Ebony Knight. It's great to be here. I'm back on the arena again with my brothers. I'm looking forward to a great show. Thanks for having me. My name is Gidon Ben Yashara, all servant of Yah. I'm just so honored to be on the set with Elder Bukasa. And when I was in Nigeria among the Yoruba, they called me Dada as well. So right. peace and blessings. Right on, Brother Dada. All right, all right. I want to get started. Uh, we got a twofold show here today. But first, I want to bring up uh, enhanced interrogation, or as we call it, torture. Now, Gideon, you know, they talk about uh, Guantanamo Bay, Gitmo, and they're saying that, you know, during 9-11, we were forced to uh, amp up enhanced interrogations on uh, these prisoners. You know, now these prisoners, you know, these being, you know, members of Al-Qaeda and the Taliban, you know, they're very extreme in their views. And they've been taught, they even have a manual saying if you get caught, you know, not to uh, basically confess and, you know, basically, you know, uh, you know, build up the strength for Allah, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you being uh, our fellow, uh, our resident uh, <laughs> theocrat. Because you say in the Bible, it says, all shall bow, right? Yes, sir. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, the Endless War Act, take that as a threat. So what's your take on the whole 
situation? You know, thank you for asking me that question. And big ups to Brother Vince and Brother Mukasa. When I say Brother Mukasa, Brother Yenga, Yenga and really? Puma. You know, this issue of torture in America is very personal. It is very important. Get in, don't make me get we already. <laughs> yes, sir. What? Is this is this torture necessary for these terrorists? You know, it's one of those things you have to realize. That like, like me as an atheist, should I take that all shall bow as a threat? Should I take that as a threat? Get in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? In reality, I think you should. <laughs> right, I should. You know, right. So if, if I'm in power, if I'm in power, and I have all the weapons, mm -hmm. and I got people like yourself running planes in the buildings, and I should, I should enhance my interrogation, shouldn't I? Well, in reality, this issue of torture and interrogation, enhanced and otherwise, is based on a demented mind that the enslavers who have never released their present slaves continue to utilize. See, torture and interrogation is on many different levels. Right. When we talk about specific individuals being tortured to get information that they perceive will be uh, valuable to their ability to thwart a nation, mm -hmm. then they tend to use psychological uh, methodology. They also We're talking techniques. waterboarding. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about one level okay. of torture here today. Okay. We're not talking about psychological and mm -hmm. spiritual and mm -hmm. all this mm -hmm. boohooing about our, you know, yes, the white right. man's done this. To We're talking about real life torture. Exactly. Rip your fingernails. Right. Water have board. water just dripping on your head exactly exactly waterboarding you well, so this is the only level intrusions into orifices of your body mm -mm. i mean that this is, torture. is the only level of torture i want to discuss today okay all right? all right right now what does it mean in this country when you have that type of insidious torture on what they perceive to be threats to their freedom why is it insidious? The yeah, it's a perception. It is a demented mindset that it utilized this type of torture, and I believe it has continued in our community ever since we've been on this planet. So what we see this enhanced uh, treatment of uh, torture or what, what can we say, just breaking down the mind of an individual <clears throat> is part of white supremacy's total agenda for the people that it subjugates. What about... Ebony, what about ISIS supremacy? Okay. What about Arab supremacy? Yeah. Al Qaeda I just, I just supremacy? Want to and kind of discuss how dangerous that is to say that someone with radical views could end up being tortured because of your views. Now let now we're going to torture you for information because you could say because I view anything the go, the color gold beautiful that now I'm a part of a certain group and I have certain information or intelligence and now you're going to torture me. Now torture isn't anything new. It's been used, you know, throughout the centuries over, you know, around the world. Mm -hmm. But when you start saying, okay, um, it's a witch hunt, mm -hmm. or we say that all these people that are over here, we're going, we have the right to now torture them, mm. to get information from them. And then, you know, years later you find out, oh, well actually some of them weren't even involved or some of them, you know, so I, I would say, you know, it's a thin line, but the line isn't so thin because it, it's just been going on forever. I think now we're getting, you know, it's coming to the limelight or it's coming to the light that our government is just a big group of thugs. Well, well let me let me say this. And let they me, lied about it. Okay, well, let me, no, 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 well, hold, hold on, hold on. Let me, I'm going to ask this question, okay, because the, the Endless More Act specifically says that anybody that, who wants to form a, a what they call a theocracy is a that threat to democracy, mm -hmm. okay. right? And that person should be eradicated whether they're a U.S. citizen or not. And so when you have a doctrine, mm -hmm. and I can vouch for the doctrine of Islam, vouch for the doctrine of the Hebrew Israelites, vouch for the doctrine of any Bible, Torah, and the keeping the gas, Noctoc tablets, Dead Sea Scrolls, they all say that the world would be controlled by their religion. And that is a specific threat. So people in America, we may not necessarily agree. I might want to have my pork sandwich, mm -hmm. my porno, and goddamn what else, you know? Bestiality, child I may, pornography, but gambling. I, get in. <laughs> a person should have the human right the to right. choose whatever they want to do, whenever they want to do, as long as it affects the person exactly. 
outside, as long as it doesn't do harm, get in. That's why me and you had a debate about people should have the right to eat what they want to eat. If they want to eat a pork sandwich until their blood pressure boils up, <laughs> they should have the right to do that. Yes, it we should not be illegal be, because right. pork is bad for you. Like cigarettes are legal, cannabis, marijuana is illegal. Right. Because not because it's bad for you, but because they said so. So you could take all weed heads and say, you know what, we're going to put y'all over here, we're going to torture you, or we're going to do, you know, experiments to see how your mind works. You, The government can, they, they package it up nicely. Well, I, well, they do package it up nicely. Let's just look, look at Georgia. Like, they say that you can't smoke cigarettes in a club. Now, you might come into the club, Ebony, and you might smoke a cigarette. I'm in the same club, and I inhale your secondhand smoke, so now you're endangering my health. So I think that's a pretty rational, reasonable law that's implemented right. by the people. Because it's affecting other people. Right. 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 Now, if you smoke in your, well, actually, in California, you can't even smoke in your own apartment. But I, I, I think that's a little extreme. But if you're in the, your own comfort of your own home, mm -hmm. smoking weed or methamphetamine or whatever cigarettes, you whatever, your home, then you should have the right to do that, but as long as it doesn't affect the outside person. So that's what people are failing to realize. I hate going to a club. You ever been to a club, you know, dance floor and a person dancing, they got a cigarette and they bump into you? It's like, really? But you know, that's a little side note. Well, anyway. Actually, let me just say this before we get to the elder, because when we look at this, this is a corrupt, uh, duplicitous system that uh, Gideon, uses where are you going to offer a better system? No, this is my point in reference to inhaling smoke. We're okay. talking about the manufacturers that pollute all of the air, mm -hmm. the automobile industry. Here, they will yeah, but they produce they a need. Sanction, they produce a need, though. But they produce is, our, our but wants and needs. Is they sanction us for an individual, just like they killed Michael Brown up there for selling the cigarettes when they are producing and making billions mm -hmm. of doing the same thing. Gideon, that is a failed oh. argument. <laughs> yeah. If you don't You're want Georgia power... The nuclear didn't turn off. Don't turn on your lights anymore. Do not crank your car up so you can emit emission fuel. You see that? What's that? Oh, that's a dead argument because the same people saying, "Oh, we need a clean planet," are the same ones cranking up their cars, but this is flicking the, on the lights, flicking say. on the AC, air conditioning. There have been fuels like water, and you know what? They have a, a fuel, a, a vehicle called a bio bus in Europe, and you know what it runs off of? Human waste. So get in. Which, get and, in. And, and waste <laughs> produce methane. Methane is a gas. Mm -hmm. That's something that we could recycle. It would make everybody free. But this system is about torture, control, and as long as they can manipulate you through the resources, then they got you by the proverbial gonads. Elder, enhanced irrigation. G give us your take. Oh, yes, Mukasa. sir. Uh, in terms of enhanced irrigation, uh, how you say it? Enhanced interrogation. Interrogation. Uh, when the Europeans came to Africa, they killed us by the millions. Mm -hmm. If we didn't work hard enough, they cut our feet off, they cut our hands off, and they killed whole villages of people. They raped our people. And, uh, and they're still doing it today. They put us on slave ships. First right. slave ship was called Good Slave Ship Jesus. Come on. Uh, on the slave ship, mm -hmm. they uh, raped our people. Mm -hmm. They threw our people overboard. Yes, sir. They stuck sticks up our people. Mm -hmm. yep. They chained us mm -hmm. and did everything. They robbed us of our humanity. Come on. They brought us over here and sold us like a uh, piece of wood. Yes, sir. And if we spoke our African language, they cut our tongues out. That's right. That's terrorism. Mm -hmm. uh, if we caught us reading, we were very intelligent people coming from Timbuktu and Mali and Ghana, Mali, Sung Hay, Zimbabwe, very intelligent people. Come on. If they caught us reading, they'd take high pokes and poke our eyes out. Yes, sir. If they caught us writing, and how Griffiths was the first writing in, in Africa. Well, well Elder. They caught us writing, they uh, cut our hands road, off. Right, 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 right. You're on the road. Right, right. But we, we, we press for time, though, Elder. And yes, we sir. understand, you know, we, we, we understand the whole history of slavery. I mean, it's it's. So we've been talking every minute right. we hear under the white Thank you. Right, right, right. But let's, 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 let's bring it today. Let's bring it today. Let's look, let's look at ISIS. You know, they, they're no friend of black people either, I don't think so, you know. Well, um, I don't know about ISIS, but I uh, like the concept where you <laughs> fight uh, the white man come to your house, your home, the United States come to your place, Europeans come to your place, mm -hmm. kill over, kill millions of people, exactly. kill all kind of members of your family. Mm -hmm. They drop bombs where they got arms, mm. head, legs, mm -hmm. all up in trees. Come on. Yeah, but isn't ISIS doing the same thing? 
I mean, well, we're talking about well, one oppressor well, A I and oppressor B. I, I know what I, I just know what the Europeans tell me about See, ISIS. Exactly. And so I don't know exactly. much about okay, okay. ISIS, but I know that you have to fight to the depth. When the okay, white well, let me invade your land. You must fight them until they're dead. Okay, mm -hmm. well, let me let me let me let me bring it. Let me bring it home then. Let's let's bring up a and doctrine. King called the United States the greatest terrorist nation in the world. Exactly. And the greatest perpetrator of violence. The white okay. men always use terrorism and violence to gain what they want. That's always. What, that's what so, that's what maintain them. My question is, and I'm trying to look at this from a practical standpoint here. And Abby, you can jump in. Gideon, y'all can jump in. You know, we talk about the white man being evil. Come on, don't be shy. And Come I'm on. trying to. I'm trying to reason and figure out these whole doctrine. <laughs> you know, when you have a doctrine mm -hmm. saying that, you know, basically, and I've, I've, I've talked to people who, who have, have very extreme views, meaning that we, you know, you've been around Christians, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, you know, their doctrine say they all shall bow. Yeah, me and this man was... Right, Dr. King, okay. And, that's oh, that's Kwame Tor Kwame Tor okay. That's right. Kwame was an atheist. That's right. See? Kwame Luther King was a Christian. That's right. right. That's right. And you were a nationalist. Mm -hmm. or, or. Well, I was, uh, I, was uh, I was an SCNCC, and probably back then I didn't know the difference between Christianity and mm -hmm. the other religions, so I would define myself as a Christian, but I was really never a Christian. Exactly. I got you. I just didn't know no better. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, well, let me ask Ebony. I'm going to ask Ebony this question because, I mean, you are familiar with doctrines saying that, you know, people, you know, they're going to come into power and basically their doctrine is going to rule, mm -hmm. you know. Now, I understand what the elders are saying about, you know, white supremacy. You know, I'm no friend of white supremacy, but I'm no friend of, you know, <laughs> Black of, of, no, 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 no. I'm no friend of any kind of theocracy either, Gideon. You know, because as far as I'm concerned, you know, when they talk about God and Allah, a person should have, you know, there's a, it's a human right for a person to either believe or don't want to believe, especially when you cannot prove with proof and evidence that this being supposedly exists. So you're basing a doctrine on a character, I like to say. And then let me just say this for the record, Pope Francis, the, you know, the new pope, he said that the Bible was never a the people weren't real. This was an allegory. These were allegory stories for people to learn lessons. And you and so, the child no, 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 listen, listen, Gideon, listen, listen, listen. Listen, I'm just listening to the facts. I'm not judging what this man's action is. I'm just saying this comes from a pope who is a former Jesuit saying that the Bible is a composite of lessons. Now, if you go to the Kemetic community, they will tell you that Everything in the Bible was stolen from Kemet, from I was Egypt. About to say, these le those Thank stories you. are told across cultures to teach lessons. Like if we get past all the personification right. that is in it, and and the, the the literature is just really a lot of poems. Right. Um, I think we're getting off topic. Let's no, no, no. It. It's it's on topic only because Ebony, when you have a person like Muhammad who they said is a historical real person, he said he was related to Ishmael. Well, Ishmael was not a real person. Let's bring it all the way down to somebody's dog on pastor today who was telling Let's them today it. that they are someone that they're not. Like the, the extreme views of, of a few religious people can really do a lot of damage. Yes, ma'am. It can do a lot of damage. So if you have people who are believing, let's say for example in Kennesaw, um, they wouldn't let the mosque, they didn't want the mosque to, mosque to be um, put right. there in Kennesaw um, until the money started sounding That's wrong. That's right, right. And then, they, and then so now it's like, okay, well we might reconsider. Okay. It, it was just really a lot of ignorance. They don't know any reason. You know, they were like, I saw people say, um, well, we want to keep our family safe. And I'm like, you don't want them to go worship in however they worship because you feel like they're a danger to you. All you know is what the government has told you, what the media has shown you. Mm -hmm. So when we bring it back to, you know, what we're looking at now as far as our current government and what the police do, we just haven't seen what they've done. It just mm -hmm. hasn't been televised. No, we, we see it now. We, yeah, you we, know, now, we, now we, we see, now we see it. Right. see clearly exactly what's going on. It's nothing new. <laughs> you know. Right, right. Well, it's look. dangerous. If my yeah. beliefs can cause me to be put into a, a, an extremist category, and a lot of people don't even know what ISIS is or how ISIS was formed or why it was formed. It well, was I'm, formed I'm just like the Black Panther Party out of 
people being done wrong and standing up for themselves. Yeah, but the yeah. Black Panther Party doctrine doesn't say that everybody has to convert uh, over. No, well, you're not talking about yeah. doctrine. But okay, no, 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 I'm so, no yeah. but, 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 the, but the Endless War Act is specifically formed out of a threat of a doctrine. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, let me a give A lot of our laws are formed out of yeah. doctrine, but, out, of, out of Christian doctrine that no longer makes sense to us. And now we have antiquated laws um, by people who are not Christians, who don't even act like, and, I, and if, I don't even know what acting like a Christian is these days, <laughs> but people who don't profess Christianity, they still purport these same laws upon us. Well, religion uh, itself, uh, man and woman created God. Mm -hmm. All gods were created by man and woman. And they are, imagine, they are uh, uh, of our imagination. We elevate different people to the status of God. Uh, and then if you go back to, I think the, one of the first people to do that was Amin Ra. Mm. Right, right. Uh, well, Imhotep. Imhotep, yeah. Imhotep, uh, Imhotep and yeah. those brothers, they elevated to one big powerful God. I'm sorry, yeah, it was Amin Ra. Imhotep, Imhotep was the first to have a monolithic, yeah. And so yeah. we <laughs> elevate somebody that said that's all God that's over everything and all that mm -hmm. so no problem but God was created by the minds and the thoughts and the philosophy and the culture of different people and every different culture create them a God mm -hmm. and that uh, so the Arabs and the Europeans right. were been fighting to dominate the world with their religion but at the same time uh, uh, you said it you said it you said it the wow. Arabs too right Arabs yeah of course okay so you know uh, the you know the Arabs, Arabs played a big part in ISIS us and oh, enslaved okay. us Exactly. Okay. Okay. Sub-Saharan. Okay. They, they showed the Europeans how to enslave us and what have you, and they still coming into Africa, dominating us. Wait, wait, say that again. They, they showed the Europeans how to, how to dominate us. Oh, okay. And kill us and enslave us. Enhanced terrorism. They still coming right. into Africa. Mm -hmm. They still coming into Africa, uh, fighting and dominating territory, mm -hmm. and taking over our land. And all fights and wars are fought over land. Whoever gonna control the land, mm -hmm. that's who got the power. So right. we caught up in between a battle between Europeans and Arabs. And mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm not an Arab, so I'm not right, neither in Islam. Mind. I'm not a Christian, I'm not a European, so I'm not interested in Christianity, even though I know a lot of my African people are Islamic, I know a lot of my people are right. Christian. Mm -hmm. And if I would even look at any kind of religion or have any kind of religious thought, it would be that of uh, voodoo, uh, Mm -hmm. Like they used and hated and whooped the white man to fight you know, against that's slavery. That's right, something that was outlawed. <laughs> if I'm a believer in a God, it would have to look like my sister here. I agree. She is my God. Okay, but, 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 you but, 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 God, look at this here. This is God. But, Elder, Elder, Elder right let me here. ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Now, you just said that, you know, you would write Ebony to be your God. Just yeah, hypothetically. We'll elevate her okay, to God. Okay, right? but hypothetically speaking, mm -hmm. so what if I come along and say, well, I don't necessarily agree with that, right? Well, then you, we elevate you to God. We have a bunch and of And I may not necessarily, <laughs> I may not God, necessarily agree with the that. God that the African talk about, everything is God. Right. We didn't miss the fact. So, everything, the water, the right. fish, the duck, the, the monkey, the elephant, God. the tree, the rain, the water, everything is God. I mean, you treat everything right, you exactly. What about, okay, 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 what so, we ain't hung up on religion. So our fight is to take over our land, mm -hmm. liberate our land, mm -hmm. and I believe in science. I believe everything I'm is done science through too. science. Mm -hmm. I ain't arguing that. I believe everything is done through science. But right now our continent, Africa, the land that belongs to us is under attack. Uh, the Arabs or the European, the uh, uh, United States and all other foreign elements is raping Africa, mm -hmm. killing us by the millions, mm -hmm. taking our diamonds, our gold, our oil, so, uh, our uh, silver, Mukasa, destroying Mukasa, our civilization. Mukasa, 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 Africa, don't make words, dang out, all right? Africa. <laughs> No soapboxing today, Elder, please. <laughs> this is why I don't have elders on the show, because y'all be soapboxing too damn much. Let's have a conversation here. Okay, please. Because I'm looking for, because we can articulate the problem and the problems and problems. I'm looking for solutions, Elder. Well, the solution, if I may say, yes, please. I have to be a dissenter as far as okay, you say revolution. a higher power. Okay. Because for me, I am not God. I'm a creation of God. God is the ultimate architect and diviner of all that. Get in, get in, get in, get in. How is that the solution when you have atheists mm -hmm. on the planet, right. you have people who don't necessarily believe that? So how do you solve that problem with people who don't agree with that? Well, by utilizing this show as an archetype 
for the type of power. And the R type of this show is saying that it does not work, Gideon. If a theocracy not, does not work. If, if right. It, it not, will not work. And if, if I don't care, we can overthrow the white man. It is a theocracy. The minute you say that God, you know, we're going to put a government and we're going to put God's rules, that is a theocracy. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm of course you can't disagree with that. Is that the council, the concept here is what we see right here. This is a government. This is uh, so that's a your Congress. Solution? The issue has to do with us being able to communicate. And right. then in right. that communication, just right. like we say, we need to come up with an agenda to go to the white man. We need to come up with an agenda. For no, no, I never said that. Self dependence and economic development with the powerful minds that we have in our community. So when you talked about going to the Crips, the Bloods and all, these are self-governing tribes that have independent councils that utilize their money that they claim is drug money on the world. This is money that the white man don't control. That they are able to utilize and create an underground economy. Get in, get in, get in. Solution, solution. The solution is what council? I'm telling you. The council okay. and the ability to utilize that council no, despite your independent, independent right. philosophy. So the ability to coexist and, to, and our laws need to be, need to reflect our diversity. Yes. Our laws now we're talking. Now our, we're talking. Our laws can't reflect um, my Christian background yes. or my, my, my European background and say that you no, no longer have a right to um, to practice what you practice, and that's how marijuana became illegal. And yes, urban hippie, I have to do. Keep, I have to keep talking about marijuana right. because it was really against um, Mexican people. Right. Marijuana, the, they were known for using marijuana. So let's make a law that's going to to be able to get them in jail, to criminalize them. them. And now exactly. we have black people, and we know that's how they're going to medicate. So we can criminalize that. Exactly. And now we whitewash the whole marijuana thing, and we say, well, now you can get a prescription. And you right. can get a prescription because now we're going to do this our way, and we've already criminalized everyone. That's the way okay. they did and this, and this is okay. the way we're, we have to do this now. If we have people of different mindsets mm -hmm. and different mentalities, right. that is a solution because no, my culture. Has, isn't represented in your laws. Right. My, culture, my, my beliefs aren't represented in your laws. So everybody's going to have to get out of their beliefs or disbeliefs or their religious um, cows or whatever it is so that we can make some laws that make sense for us. Well, see, and, and, that's for everybody ahead, to live also, together. Also, I'm, I'm with make you on clear that. that uh, we need our own country, our own land, our own government, and the laws of the United States and Europe. Uh, laws that are against us and against the people of color. And have okay, so Elder, can we have a dialogue? Can, can we have a dialogue? Can we have a dialogue here? Can, yes, I, can I ask okay, you a question? One, one last, one you're so boxing now. Okay, yes, you're sir. so boxing. Let me ask a question. Oh, ask a question. Okay, so yes, we as black people. We as Africans. Africans. We, we should Africa. separate and get our own land, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Africa. Okay. <laughs> so now, you know, a lot of our people are very theocratic, right? Right. So how would the... I can't even have dinner with my Christian family Thank members. You. How are we going to go to Africa? So, how, yeah. so what yeah. kind of government are we going to have? I'll show you. No, I'll show you. Okay, uh, show me. Uh, what Kwame Nkrumah uh, uh, came up with... Uh, uh, Democratic uh, socialism? No, not, no not, he was scientific socialist. Scientific socialism. Scientific but socialism. But it still had a... Still had a socialism okay. is the economic system. Okay. But... Uh, he come a philosopher, consciousism, and what he said, we have to use all the religions since we know that these religions are facts. Christianity whoa, 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 whoa. Christianity is not a fact. I mean, it's a fact that I believe in. That believe in. Oh, that they believe, believe in, in it, right. That is real. Okay, all right. The fact that we, some of us believe in Islam, some of us believe in Christianity. And, and then some of the mass majority of us still believe in traditional African religion or culture. What about the and Wagadungu they, and the Monprusi that were atheist tribes? Well, that's good. I mean, I think the world is, we were scientific and we believed in science. Okay. Even we had religion, but we used it as a science, mm -hmm. not as a metaphysical and all this garbage right. that Christians and Islam mm -hmm. bought to us. Okay. And I say that to say that uh, our fight scientifically is for Africa. So what you're saying? For the resources of Africa, mm -hmm. and then we can solve our socioeconomic problems. And the reason we depend on the white man's God, the Arab God, all that mess is forced upon us. Exactly. And I say I that I only God I believe in is that I believe in Fidel Castro as my God. The, uh, Kim Il Sung in North Korea, who have a nuclear bomb depend, defending his nation of uh, North well, Korea. Well, let's let's talk about that. Let's These talk about are that. These my gods, and the national was my God. Mukasa, can we can we Marcus conversate? Garvey. Can, yes, can, we, can we can we Can we have a dialogue? Yes, sir. Okay, let's talk about Kim Jong Un.
Yes, sir. And let me say, the views and opinion of that of Black Sun does not affect that of the arena. I want to say this real quick. I think he was in the right. Anybody that makes a threat to say they're going to assassinate me, I'm going to send my hackers. So, yeah, what's what? With that corporation in, I'm not going to mention their name, was a stupid act. That's coming from Black Sun. Now, I'm going to take that. criminal. The United States invaded Korea back in 19, probably 53 or somewhere then, had a war, mm -hmm. and they divided Korea, exactly. north and right, south. Right, they did, right. And they got hundreds of thousands of troops on Korea's land right now, bombs, nuclear bombs, and all that. Yes, and Korea is saying until the United States and Europeans get off their land, the war continues. Right. And that he got him a nuclear bomb. Right. And that's what protect him. And then when you got a nuclear bomb, everybody's scared to mess with you. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so he got a nuclear bomb. And when they threatened to make a mockery and threaten to uh, uh, kill him and all this, right. like they're trying to do with this movie, then he right. got to know that if you show it, I'll blow you up, I'll bomb you, I'll shoot you, and what have you. So he's on the right. The, the reason they don't do nothing to kill so, so he was on the right. Hell yeah, he's in the right. Okay, we, all right. We, we, we yeah, in yeah. agreement. Okay, we in all agreement. All right. All I'm saying he in the right. I'm saying the right. We too. need to liberate Africa and put nuclear bombs all around <laughs> Africa. I'm with you and on then that. Then you won't have no Trayvons and the white man choking you to death and shooting you down in the streets and whatever. Until we get us some nuclear bombs. All these white folks got nuclear bombs, and all these other places got nuclear bombs, and all of them are pointed at Africa, pointed at us. Until we get nuclear bombs and say, you shoot yours at me, I shoot mine at you. If you invade my land, I shoot mine at you. Then we'll be protected. And that. we can protect ourselves. So I, thought I, was, I the, thought I was militant so, last so time. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only real human beings, the real gods, are those who fight to the death uh. against those who invade our land. And men like Fidel Castro, uh, Mao Zedong, uh, uh, Kim Young, and Kim Il Sung and, and Ho Chi Minh and Marcus Garvey, Kwame Nkrumah, Sekou Toure, Muammar Gaddafi, uh, how you say Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe and the freedom fighters in Zimbabwe. And my dad. All the freedom fighters of the world are our gods because they will liberate us and guide us to our freedom and stop begging America, stop begging the white man, stop begging the United States to treat you right and they ain't no right in them. They gonna kill you, murder you as long. So the question I raise to you and everybody here, that give my voice. Are we be, are we fighting to beg the white man, the Europeans, to treat us better? Or are we fighting to get our own land, our own nation, our own government, our own army, our own economic system, and govern our own self? Are we fighting to be part of the white man and be part of America, this evil, murderous system? Gideon, I'm going to put you yes. on the spot, Gideon. Yes, sir. Because I know you, you were fighting for the white man respect, weren't you? No. <laughs> then you had, wait a minute. I'm going to have to rewind. No, I, I did okay, you did say he, that. Asked, he asked me, you said, what do you, want? what do you want from the white man? And I said, respect. Right. Because if he respects me, he's going to respect my God because I'm going to respect my God because it is my God that has given me life. It's how we see. This is the issue. Gideon, how can the now, white man respect something he can't see? You're right. He cannot. That's why we are at the bottom of the That's barrel. That's why he gave you Jesus. Hello. Well, see, but I know his name is Yahshua. See, Yahshua is the woolly head. Yahshua is black like you, hair like wool like you. He didn't want you to know about that aspect because of our children. Now, our elder mentioned, and as well as you, black, you know, you talked about the meeting power with power. There's no weapon that's formed against us that will prosper. And meeting the white man with a nuclear weapon will only precipitate what ultimately will happen anyway. That is a there lie. Are weapons Look that at, are prospering no, against no, us. No, 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 no. Well, you're right. There, I mean, there are this, weapons that are prospering against us. Lies, right, right, right. Hold on, lies, hold on. Right, that, that is true. That is very true. But let me, let, me, let me tell you a fact, Gideon. This is Go something ahead. you're probably not used to. It's a fact, okay? <laughs> when Russia invaded Georgia, which yes. was a USA satellite, Soviet, okay? Yes. They kicked in the door, rolled the tanks in downtown Georgia. Exactly. You know, and the prime minister was like, America, help us. You know, right. George Bush was like, uh, Ru Russia, uh, you there. guys did a bad thing, but they weren't marching up in there. And right. like Mukasa said, you know why? Because they got nuclear weapons, okay? Right. And, N North Korea, right. they sent off a dang bomb at the coast of California. Right. I didn't see 
us marching up in there, did we? Oh, I, I'm not go done ahead, yet. I'm ahead, not go done ahead. yet. We got two nuclear-powered countries here, Gideon. Certainly. So these are facts. Well, the Eastern, okay? Now, They're not going to mess have, with a country a minute, with nuclear way. weapons. Did we not have an individual that came from South Korea to Atlanta to these very studios? Gideon, 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 Gideon. Stay on top. 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 What I'm talking about is the influence of our ability to communicate and what that translates into in the what real I'm saying, world. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, but a bunch of Uncle Tom puppets for the United States, Europe, and the white man. South Korea is a disgrace, and North Korea should take it and or even blow it off the map mm -hmm. and take that land. And the views and, and the opinions, the views and opinions of Mukasa does not reflect all that All revolutions are fought over land, yes, and sir. our fight is for Africa, right. and the only, ain't no God or nothing going to save you if you don't have a United States of Africa where you can govern your own selves and feed your own people. But see, we have to have a higher authority and mentality about resources. See, if you have used the same fossil fuels, if you don't have, like Black keeps saying, what's the uh, solution? The solution is wind power, the sun power, come, going away from the wicked system that is, that is economically, environmental, sustainable. But the only problem with that is where's your people to, to, to set this hey, up? You say you, are no, you it are correct, but so the real well. power of the wind when you can control it and use it for your benefit. With real power of the sun when you can control it right. and use it for your benefit and exactly. use solar power, solar energy exactly. to develop and be a nation and, and form people, cool people down Thank and whatever. Exactly. But therefore we need technology. And but if you're gonna have technology, you gotta have a land to put that technology on. And our land is Africa, the richest land in the world, full of diamonds, gold, oil, rubber, zinc, tea, copper, pearl, cobalt, manganese, and mm -hmm. the most intelligent people in the world who be a Ghana, Mali, Shanghai, Zimbabwe, and thousands of other empires and, uh, and Zulu empires that have most beautiful languages right. in the world. Our fight is for Africa. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to you today that you're gonna suffer, you're gonna be bombed, you're gonna be shot, That's your right. children gonna be merged. You're going to be jailed until you have a United States of Africa. I bet you don't see them shooting at the Japanese children. You don't see them shooting at the Chinese children. I bet you won't see them shooting uh, uh, Kim El Sang's little boy down because they know Kim will put that nuclear right. bomb on their butt. And this is what we need. We need a strong Africa where we can say, if you touch an African anywhere in the world, right. we'll nuke your ass. But see, this is the we way. know where your house is. Boss. We know where I your mama lives. Well, actually, well, actually, well, actually, but, but look at this. <laughs> but see, this is what this is an elder speaking. Mm -hmm. But the elders, what he's talking about in these various countries, would be the elders protecting their children. Mm -hmm. What we are sent doing is sending our children out, saying the children are going to take the lead. The children are going. The children don't have any nuclear power. The children don't have any money. The children have nothing but a lot of energy to go oh, out there and say because the elders have been about getting paid, mm -hmm. lying, that's right. Cheating, not all the elders. I ain't not all. I ain't, all, that. I ain't uh, lying. I'm saying, I tell the truth. We need wanted, revolution. To, I'm and, an elder too. Now. And I believe that we need to send our children out to fight uh -huh. instead of giving your children a ball to suck on, give them a rifle. We yeah, need to send that. our children to fight. And I believe in children going to the battlefield, eight, nine, five, four years old, yes. going to the battlefield and fight. Martin Luther King had little children on the front line facing dogs and bombs in Birmingham where those three little children got killed. Right. They, right. They, they, right. They, they, right. They, they, right. They, they, that ain't true at all. That ain't true at all. Go ahead. I know Martin King's children. They were out there. They marched. Jose Williams' children march, and, I, and I've seen many children march. So okay. everybody have to fight. Mm -hmm. The children are being murdered and dying, everybody has but to elder, fight. This is so the our fight is for Africa. Uh, our fight is for Pan-Africanism. You will never be free until you have a land. Yes, and sir. second, I want to say that socialism and communism are the economic system that we must use. Mm -hmm. And socialism and communism say everything in the world belongs to everybody and the only thing the government do is make sure everybody getting so. But see, this Life, is the issue, gas, elder, water, right food, here. Medicine, education. What did our parents, you right, that's the word. Our parents told us to go out and fight. How did they tell us to fight? They said, we don't want you to work like we did. We don't want you to slave. They said, get an education. That was the fight. That's what they bought for us. That's what they sold us. That's what we fed into. We got MDs, PhDs, 
uh, BDs, and we can still ain't got no job. But you got miseducated. The educated but white who, man gave you. It, he gave you That's a miseducated. That's what I'm telling you. That's why we need to, the Chinese, they build their own college and university. They don't depend on the white man educated. We take Africa, we can build university, put every child in school, take every man, woman, and child, and pre out of these prisons and put them in college and make doctors. That's what Castro did in Cuba. That's right. Took them out of jail, took prostitutes, and made doctors out of them. Yes, sir. Took took the poorest, hungry people, made doctors That's and engineers right. See, I, and I, I nation builds out of them. And now Cuba is one of the most intelligent, most developed nations in the world. And the leader, Fidel Castro and, and Rio and all the people of the Communist Party of Cuba are the most intelligent people in the world. Absolutely. They bring people in fierce. from all over the world and educate people free, make right. doctors of children. Exactly. My son is there with them. Make doctors of children. They uh, uh, do educate people. They build nations. Send doctors all over the world, hundreds thousands at a time every year mm -hmm. uh, all over the world That's go right. and fight Ebola go Without fight borders. AIDS and go fight any disease that the people face yes, today. I want to interject there. Fidel interject. Castro is a great man and his truth and righteousness has defeated America that's why you see Obama punking on television talking about we're going to lift the embargo otherwise he's saying he's going to stop send, blowing up planes in Cuba right. he's going to stop sending bombs in Cuba he killed right. over 10,000 people that's he right. say he's going to stop trying to kill Fidel Castro right. they're going to try to pardon cigars, food, and everything, everything else, tried everything. to kill him over 10,000 times because he represented the truth. That's right. So right. anybody that represents the truth, from Martin Luther King to Malcolm X to more Michael Davis to Dan Hussein, the they have killed them and murdered them. This white man used murder, yeah. used bomb to stay in power and terror. control. Terror. 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 The Martin Luther King said the United States government is the greatest terrorist yes. nation in the world. Mm -hmm. That's why you see the FBI and the CIA being oh. exposed. That's they right. murdered Martin Luther That's King right. shot him in the mouth. What about shot Martin Luther King preaching okay. in church. Oh. They murder people all over the world. Okay. I'm talking about Mukasa, 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 Mukasa. Right. Please. 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 Okay. Go ahead. Woo. Hey. Good Lord. On the road, boy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think it's really important that we understand, like what you said about socialism and um and communism. and communism, because we're not even taught those things in school. No, we're not. All we're taught is communism is bad. You don't even right. know what communism is. You just talk, you know, communism is bad. And get a job. Don't go to Cuba. You don't know anything right, about right, it. Right. So you know, white man tell you yeah. something bad, you know it's good. It tell you it's good, you know it's bad. <laughs> okay, okay. Go, go ahead, Ebony. I was just, we have to take the education back there. Um, I think we were going to um, discuss Cuba, actually. Yeah, actually, we, 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 we were. We were. Cuba. Now, this is, who were the first uh, authorized ambassadors of America into Cuba of late? Remember, who was given personal permission? Jay-Z. Jay-Z and Beyonce. It was an uproar. It was an uproar in this because they went in as an agent right after that. Uh, Miss Secure was put back on, on the, the list. on the mm -hmm. list by the FBI as the, uh, by President Obama. Come on now and That's see. It. But what they were doing, they were doing things under the table for this government, like we mm -hmm. see most of get these. In, get in, get in, get in, hold on, hold on. This is part we, of the terrorist no, agenda. Get in, get in, get in. We, we, you have no proof to what you're saying. You're making these I accusations. No, oh, 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 because whoa, 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 whoa. Beyonce and Jay Z never met with Raul, so they didn't do anything that was like like I, now I can say for a fact like when Fidel came to America, he was assisted by Malcolm X. That is a historical fact. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Malcolm X put up a place for him to stay to rest his head. So Jay Z that. and Beyonce did not do that. They just went and was terrorists. I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> tourists. I'm <sorry. laughs> They were tourists. So what you're the saying views and opinions of right. the arena. So so what I'm saying is that you have no proof to what you're saying. You're just making allegations. Let's keep the show factual, okay? I'm fact is the fact that they went there, they got okay, they did go there. authority to do that. No, 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 that freed South Africa from apartheid. They fought a revolution in Angola, mm -hmm. yep. Botswana, against South Africa, and they defeated them. And one of the demands they had when they captured and 
beat down the South African truth right. is that you give this country independence. So Cuba is one of the finest governments that live. It's a socialist government. Everybody get free education. Mm -hmm. Ain't no light bill, gas bill, water bill, rent. Exactly. And the things that it takes and the things that it takes for the people to live, right. they don't put no price on it. That's so it. Castro is one of the finest human beings that's living on the face of the earth today. Okay, Mukasa, from this point on, I'm gonna ask Ebony and Gideon questions because you didn't took up half the show. You need your own show. Because there's other I know that that's the problem. That's what the elders I'm trying to relate to the elders. No, you're right. Is that is that is that all elders? Right. Everybody has a mentality of a one-man leadership. Exactly. And they want a soapbox. I just yes, want to ask yes. the younger generations were saying, can we dialogue and have a council yes, well, that's in this new the, government? That's part of the culture. Okay? We don't and want that's no... That's kind of what I was saying right. last time about the continuity of le leadership. Right. right. Like, can we all sit down? Can exactly. we all right. talk? And right. conversate. And, yeah, can we, and yeah, dialogue. Can we converse and can we come to some conclusions together yeah. from your wealth of knowledge mm -hmm. and from my knowledge of what I've gained Right. Whether it be street knowledge, book knowledge, that's right. knowledge from the sun, right. you know, we can all come together and learn from each other. Right. Well, right. that's why I was saying about the Not issue of the knowledge. children in Ferguson, and even when we see Dr. Thrasher, we see Elder McCarthy, we see this powerful spirit where we, that's why they're not shared, we haven't shared the power and they're not handing down the torch mm -hmm. to because the younger generation. Because the they're telling, you know, Al Sharpton saying, you know, and Al Sharpton and I are about the same age. He said, well, I didn't, nobody handed it to me. I had to take it. Once we don't have a council, once we begin to just go willy nilly, just on the ability of your ability to out talk me, over talk me, or right, talk through right. with me around, you get nothing accomplished. Right. Why the council is important, why we must listen to our elders, okay. is because they've been where we're trying to go. Obviously, where we're trying to go, they never got there. If not, we wouldn't be having the discussion. Exactly. Okay, okay, so let, let, me, let me say, let me say this. When we talk about what all they know, they claim they know it all, what they didn't do was prepare the way. Why? Because it's not time. What they're supposed to do, though, is give us information, provide the historical content. We are, the, tr the youth do have the energy to fight, but they have to be intelligent enough to listen and understand strategies that have come before them. them. Yeah, but when... on. Like, I wasn't given anything to build upon. Right. Um, it was, there was no foundation. All I was left was Jesus. I guess I was right. Supposed, thank you. I was supposed to take over the church and become the next pastor mm -hmm. when kids are being shot in the street. Right. When you right. know our kids don't even have books in our schools. Like exactly. this is the fight. Like we have to, we have to take. Just start it with our families. Like when you say Africa is the fight, let's start in our own damn houses exactly. and train our own children. That's right. Take, right. Like you said, take your children to the gun range. Like read books with your children. Empower them there, and then we can begin to to broaden and, and to go out from there. Well, 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 well what I'm saying, your husband being here with you being here, your husband, that's the example we need to see. We but they're talking a new normal now. Of we course. don't have our family supporting each other, and that's what we've got well, to break uh, that cycle well, of. Well, I, I want to say this. What all you're saying is that we need organization. That's it. And organization is a weapon. It is. And in the '60s, the organization, one of the organization was SNCC, SNCC. and then later the Black Panthers, right. and then. Mm -hmm. A lot of organizations grew out of that. That's right. And, and councils, and from, like you were saying, yeah, it wasn't just one right. man And from the rebellions mm -hmm. that our young, that we are doing, mm -hmm. and the attacks that's being made on us, and the exactly. terrorism that's being practiced on us, while our people, children, and young men are being murdered in the street mm -hmm. and put in prison, prison industrial complex, Ooh. and terrorism also. Yes, sir. And that. Uh, from that unconscious would grow. And being and, tortured in yeah, prison. Yeah, of course you're being tortured. Men being raped down here, exactly. down and raped, and little children are being raped yes. in school, and they're being tortured in the schools too. Absolutely. I have, I have a question. A, so America, Who's organizing? organizing? Who's organizing? There you go, sir. Because yeah. people go to church every Sunday. No. Like, what's your pastor talking about? No. What organizations organization, are working no. together yeah. or working separately that we can come together mm -hmm. on whatever issue? Who's organizing? Because I hear a lot of talk. I, I see conferences. I see marches. Mm -hmm. I see all of this. Well, all I don't really see anyone it. saying. It's part of it. Yeah, it's uh, part of it. But until we sit down and have some organizing, some that's organizational right. it's being leadership. Done. Matter of fact, there are all kind of organizations throughout the world. And when we look at ourselves, we must not just look inside the United States. You have right. to look in South Central America. Right. There are hundreds of organizations down there organizing. I there agree. are governments that's organizing, like uh, Nicaragua, Venezuela, even though the United States is making war against Venezuela right now. Thank you. Uh, Zimbabwe, 
and uh, and Libya, the Gaddafi forces are fighting, mm -hmm. and that we have forces fighting all over the world, and that what we have to do is come together That's it. and build a pan African. So movement. then, how, how do we how do we come together, Elder? Well, well Kwame, you, uh, men like Kwame Ture, Kwame Nkrumah, Sekou Ture. No, 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 and see how Marcus God brought us together all over the world. Okay. And we have the strongest worldwide organization of our people throughout the world. Mm -hmm. Marcus God, everybody should study Marcus God. Okay, okay, good. Black nationalism. Gideon, how do we come together? We come together to look at Yahshua the King, the Messiah of the heaven and the earth, and how he walked among men. Because the Hebrew community right now, uh, we're developing okay. councils. Ebony, how do we come wait, together? Wait, wait, let me just say because you are wrong, Gideon. We do not come together under no Yahshua. The crib, you know, the, 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 let me, let me. They're modern organizations. Okay, this is how you guys keep losing us, okay? I, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm like the Generation X. When the elders be talking about God, Jesus, Allah, Muhammad, you lose us, okay? You lose a whole nation of people who don't agree with that. They do not agree with no theocracy. I'm going to say this again. They don't agree with a theocracy, Gideon. It doesn't matter. You, it does matter. It does matter. No, it does, it does matter. Not. Gideon, when you form your government, we will overthrow you. <laughs> we, will, we will kill all the Hebrew Israelites. Well, the government is now already what? formed. Now No, well, it's no. It, big, big, you, you, you keep uh, you and the thrashers and all y'all theocrats mm -hmm. keep saying the same thing, and it's not. We, we're saying Let no. Sure we're saying the no. Already formed. The government of the kingdom of heaven. See, when Egypt fell, it was a mixed multitude. Okay, okay. okay. Evan, what's wrong with that statement? Yeah. So let me it, tell you, because we live in Atlanta, Georgia, and let me tell you, this is America, and let me tell you what he's saying. Dang. Maybe I can explain. See, this is why I agree with the, this. Is what, let me say this. This is why I agree with the Endless War Act. Torture <laughs> you terrorists. Torture all you theocrats. Torture you, you spiritualists. Torture you Muslims. Torture you Christians. Torture them. Torture yeah, them. Being tortured. I mean, right. You go, you're torturing us. You are torturing us because you're not listening to practical solutions you're alienating your own no, people you're not listening. no we listen we listen no i'm listening the theocracies do not work but what okay. we can historically speaking we're, we're fighting for what we're fighting for what's on this earth what we can feel, touch, and see matter. Exactly. Right. What, and what, what Africa is, is like our land, is. and everybody in the world who have had a world problem, their only solution they ever found when they go and organize, unite, build an organization, build a party, build like the Communist Party, whatever, build a party, take over their land, build their army, and then they can build an economic system to solve the problem. Look at China, the Chinese Revolution. Okay, 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 okay before you go on another roll, Ebony. Land. Ebony. Aside from the slavery and the white man treat us evil and this and that, blah, 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 blah. Do you understand the need of the Endless War Act? Because you have people just like Gideon, who are Arabs, who are black, who are white, that are religious fanatics. And they're not getting it. They're going to push it because they, it's been indoctrinated in their Bible that they're going to take over with their God. Let me tell you They don't something. get it. So why, that's why I say I endorse the Endless War Act. Yeah, kill them. But the thing, Torture but the, them. The thing is that they're going to be the ones torturing you because you don't believe in God. They're no, no, no. As long as there's an Endless War Act, they're not going to be able to torture me. Well, because they'll never get a, a hold of access kid. to the weapons. I'm a preacher's kid, so right. I already know. And, and let me try to explain maybe what he couldn't. Thank you. You lose me immediately when I'm looking for practical information, okay. practical okay. steps of action that I can take to make my community better and you begin to talk about the kingdom of heaven, the government is already formed right. and all of that because we're looking for practical something that I can do today. A, B, C, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. We don't want to hear about Egypt. We don't want to hear about Jesus. Mm -hmm. We don't want, wow, and even if we have all those people that believe those things, you're going to have some people, you're going to lose them. Sure. You're going to lose us. Just like I said last time I was here about um, there were the revolutionaries against the non-revolutionaries, the Christians against the non-Christians. It was the violent against the non-violent. You, you know, so 
you got to find a way to come together. And the way to come together is that, yes, your your religion, your beliefs mm -hmm. are going to have to be put on the back burner and we're going to have to talk about straight up issues. That's right. What issues so the, and solutions. Well, issues and you... solutions. Jesus is not coming to fix it. Whatever name, if Yahshua, Yahshua's not coming to fix it unless he's coming to fix it through you. So you're going to have to give me a solution with your name on it that I can say these are the steps of action that we're going to take and then we can come together together on those grounds mm -hmm. and work well let me well, let me just say this briefly thank you and, thank uh, you Evan. the council of brethren among the hebrew community began to come together so that we can talk about how we can support what about each everybody other? outside the hebrew you. community this they're, is what he's they're, saying they're welcome as well this is, but you well, but when you say the hebrew community then that means you have that's made, only the location yeah. where we'll gather that's all no that's meaning we don't want we don't also, want also, we don't also. want hold on, hold on, hold on. and we know that that's what you're going to feed us when i get right, there right, right. Like if we, i go uh, to my, my mom's house i already know she's going to pull out a bible she's going to give my kids that. scripture she's going to do because but even, we even, don't want it but whatever we, said, we don't want to eat all of that whatever your whatever religion we can put our mountains to put your religion in the closet and let's come talk about the problems that we right. have and Thank the you. solutions. Mm -hmm. And again, our solution is Pan-Africanism. Our solution right. is the total liberation and unification of Africa under socialism. We got to undo what the United States have done to us and Europe has done to us. They have robbed us of our knowledge of ourselves, mm -hmm. our history, our culture. And we must tell our children and our people the truth. We who sold are, it. Who are we? We are Africans. Who are we? What land we come from? Africa. Mm -hmm. And Africa is the richest land in the world. And that we need to let our people know that Africa can solve all our problems. Mm -hmm. And then on the other point, last point I want to make, mm -hmm. is that there got many people be crying out. The Africans saw the Africans to the white man. The mm -hmm. Africans saw the Africans. Mm -hmm. We had diamonds, gold, all rubber, zinc, mm -hmm. copper, pearl, cobalt, mainly. And if you're talking about it. herb, we call it African right. tobacco, the best <laughs> herb in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the best drink in the world, palm wine. It'll knock you out yeah, and, palm and do whatever. Good. It's very good for you. So, for you. so, 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 Elder, so Elder, Elder, Elder. Let me just make the last point. What I'm saying, Elder, we're, the most we're the most intelligent people in the world. We, we got Bible, like. Sung, hey, Zimbabwe. So, we were so intelligent and we had all them resources and knowledge in Africa. Mm -hmm. Don't let the white man make you think he came and held up a red piece of bologna or a red piece of pepper mm -hmm. and you jumped on the slaves. If the white man ain't bought you, he robbed you and stole you like he's done everything. Elder, we, we gotta respect time, Elder. And this is why I, I don't, you, I, I wouldn't normally gavel elders, mm -hmm. but because we're only an hour you show, me, I know, cause Giddy, you're going to, you know. <laughs> Let you, me just say this, right. it, it's not gonna right. take, see, what you, you keep what the vast majority know, believe you. is that it's gonna take everybody coming together. It's not, that's what the Bible tells us, it's only gonna be a remnant. That's why it's only going to be right-thinking individuals who come together. And David killed Gideon, Goliath, whether you believe it or not. Gideon, or not. I don't. We as a people have the ability to overcome this obstacle. And it's not about numbers. It's not about how many. It's the right ones coming together and the right purpose in time. And see, your mentality, I can work with you, but there are a lot of people who Thank are you. of a religious mentality who they believe that remnant is only Christians. Mm -hmm. And that yes, is sir, and, right. and, and, and that is what our country right. is Which founded on. Our country right. is founded on, you know, um, manifest destiny that we can That's wherever right. we go we the boss right. That's i can right. go over here and take this land mm -hmm. i founded it mm -hmm. i built this church this is my church you know right. what i'm saying it, it goes all the way back and all the way back right. you, our mentality we have to come out of being unable to coexist exactly we've got to be able to work One together point. if you're uh, jesus Judaism. or if you're whatever your religion is if it's not pushing you out to the streets mm -hmm. to help these kids mm -hmm. then i don't want any part of it that's and right ju and judaism comes from ethiopia mm -hmm. Christian starting to cop the church in Ethiopia, mm -hmm. and that so all that ain't no contradiction is still African. And that but but I don't I don't care where it started. Where it I don't care. Right. I can care if it started in Egypt from the the you want to be Rossi scientific. Pussy. I just right, want to be I want to right because scientific want, right. right, right, right. So I agree right. with you. I'm glad you we agree with me. Yeah. Right, we must be scientific. And when we dealt with the had them for the white man in field trade and bought all this confusion. They were scientific. Well, the reality of, of what love is. 
it is more than just a philosophy. It's actually. You got to love your land, Africa. And you got to. And see, that's love what. Your history. Man. Exactly. Then you can love your people. Well, see, that's what black and I. We, that's why we've been able to. See, black started on the show that I produced. That's right. Then he, because of love and respect, but see, he had an agenda. Mm -hmm. And his agenda manifested in the arena. See, it wasn't about. It's not It's not that I have to come to your way of thinking or you have to come to mine because the creator chooses who he oh, is and who aren't. But because we had like minds and he saw a need or he saw an environment he can work in, he came and he built. And then he built till he got out on his own. And now he's doing his own thing. So, But he wants to, uh, you know, blow a blood right. vessel. Because I'm gonna blow a blood vessel. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me just close this out. I'm gonna get it. I am for the enhanced torture, the endless war act. <laughs> torture, just like Doc, uh, Mr. Cheney, he said he would do it again. Yet I say do it again and again and again because these terrorists are fanaticals. You cannot change your mind. Gideon has been on here for the last I don't know how long, and he still doesn't respect Earth realm. Earth realm, uh, okay? It's people out here that don't necessarily give a rat's behind about the spiritual realm. What are we gonna do here, right here, right now? To day okay enough of that waiting the, the youth are not with that waiting no more so i say to the endless war act if, if you got people <laughs> crashing planes into the building torture them torture them ebony <laughs> <laughs> I, for I think he said it all. <laughs> That's, there, um, I know you keep saying I fight for Africa. I'm just going to say um, it's some kids in Decatur right now who right. are living in a hotel. Who the, 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 who, right. the buses That's are picking them up by the bus loads. Yes. So let's get it together. Like whatever, whatever is keeping us apart. Whatever beliefs you have, none of it really matters. Can we come together, make some sandwiches mm -hmm. for these yeah. kids? Can there we teach go. a dance class? Whatever we can do to empower this community, then that's what we need to And do. we have all these problems all over the world, and that uh, one day when we unite Africa, we can begin to solve our problems. But I think whether you Trayvon, or up in Ferguson, or up in New York, where they're choking us to death, or mm -hmm. wherever we are down in South America, in, in the Congo, mm -hmm. where five million people have died in the last five years, mm -hmm. and suffering in South Africa, Central South America, Angola, Mozambique, uh, down in Trinidad, wherever, we are African people, and I think we can all agree that Africa is all of our land, right? I would just say this briefly. Do you agree with that, brother? Yah is the way, the truth, and the light. In the name of his anointed son, Yeshua. And I pray that the blessings of Yah be upon you all, upon this panel, and that we will overcome white supremacy, Revolution. sin, and slavery. Revolution! All right, let me close it out. Black nationalism is the only way. Okay, okay. council. Power. Right, power. Black right. Power. Right. Black right. power. Yeah. Peace. Black power. Beauty of the people. Power to the people. <laughs> well, we might have had a pair of medics on here, but black, you didn't mess around and bust the butt mess. I'm going to get like here. this when I was over here. <laughs> well, you see why. <laughs> thank you. And may I present this to you? Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. When I was a young man.